Hi there, it's Mathia Ford with Renal Diet HQ and today I wanted to talk to you about the different types of vegetarian and if it's healthy to eat more plant-based for you with kidney disease. Um, so I wanted to answer some of those questions because I've been getting a lot of those questions and as you may know, I'm getting ready to release a vegetarian meal plan, 21 day meal plan. So I've done a lot of studying on this so I wanted to kind of give you my thoughts on that. So let's first talk about the different types of vegetarianism. Um, you often think that it's just not eating meat, but there's a lot of layers to that. Um, vegetarians are, you know, they eat all kinds of protein. So if you think of meat as the only protein, that's maybe where you're confused, but a lot of times vegetarians eat plant-based protein or they may eat some animal products that contain protein and they get some of their vitamins and minerals from those. Um, but I wanted to go over kind of some definitions. So what is a vegetarian? Um, vegetarian society, the vegetarian society defines a vegetarian as follows. A vegetarian is someone who lives on a diet of grains, pulses, legumes, nuts, seeds, vegetables, fruits, fungi, algae, yeast, and or some other non-animal based foods, for example, salt, with or without dairy products, honey, and or eggs. A vegetarian does not eat foods that consists of or have been produced with the aid of products consisting of or created from, that's a lot, any part of the body of a living or dead animal. This includes meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, insects, byproducts of slaughter, or any food made with processing aids created from these. So that's kind of a very general definition. And um, I wanted to go into kind of some of the more popular types of vegetarianism. So there's the lacto-ovo vegetarian, which means that's one of the most common ones that we see with people. Um, Lacto-ova vegetarians still consume dairy and eggs, so they're eating mostly plant-based. And let me go over what plant-based means. So plant-based is a term that a lot of people use and they may think it means you're vegetarian, but what it really means is you're eating the majority of your food as plants or um, grains, the vegetarian type foods, but you still might have meat, a smaller portion, meat, chicken, eggs, all that type of stuff. So plant-based just really means you're putting more plant products or um, vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, beans into your diet versus completely eliminating meat um, like a vegetarian would do. So lacto-ova vegetarians still consume dairy and eggs. They um, also eat cheese. So a typical diet of a lacto-ova vegetarian is going to have fruits, nuts, veggies, grains, seeds, herbs, milk, cheese, yogurt, eggs. Um, and this is the one that's most commonly accommodated in a restaurant. Um, with my 21 day vegetarian meal plan, it will be a lacto ovo vegetarian that you can adjust. Obviously, if you don't want to eat cheese, you just don't put cheese in the recipe. So, um, it's associated at lacto ovo vegetarian. You can, um, it tends to have lower um, health risk and it improves your um, heart disease risk. And let me see. Um, it can reduce type 2 diabetes, certain types of cancer, so all those types of things. Um, a lacto vegetarian means that, so in a instead of a lacto ovo vegetarian, if you're a lacto-vegetarian, you do not consume eggs, but you consume milk and other milk products like cheese and um, milk products. So in um, other cultures, that might be more normal to just not eat the eggs, but have the um, milk products. Ovo-vegetarian is somebody that is going to skip the milk products and still consume eggs. And... Um, if you're lactose intolerant, this may work best for you, so you're not gonna have the milk, the cheese, the dairy, but you are gonna have the egg products which give you the protein and a little bit of fat in your diet. A lot of times people will drink almond milk, soy milk, um, to make up for the milk that non-cow's milk in their 
um, diet. There are pescatarians, which are people who eat, they eat fish, so that may not sound like it's vegetarian, so it's not really, but it's a type of more plant-based eating, so they may eat fish um, and not eat other types of meat like chicken and beef and pork. Um, and then there's kind of the strictest vegetarian, which is a vegan. And those t people skip any animal products. So they're not gonna consume honey, they're not gonna consume eggs, they're not gonna consume gelatin. They're gonna have the most plant-based. They're going to be making substitutes of their foods to um, eat more beans, more legumes, more pulses, and um, can be more difficult to accommodate when you're you know, not necessarily making your own food if you go to a restaurant. So people having being a vegan, they tend to look for vegan restaurants. They're gonna look for um, places that they can accommodate their meals without having, like a vegan wouldn't even want butter used to cook their toast or anything like that because that's gonna be an animal product. So there are some serious benefits to adopting a vegetarian meal plan and to eating more plant-based as a person with kidney disease. Um, you're gonna have some improvements with your grocery bill. The meat is gonna be the most expensive part of your diet. So if you're eating more beans and legumes and grains and nuts and seeds, those are going to be less expensive. And so you should see an improvement in your grocery bill. But I would encourage you that if you're thinking about doing more vegetarian, that you're gonna do more um, farmer's markets so that you can find fresh in-season foods because at a farmer's market, you're gonna be able to talk to that farmer. You're gonna be able to get what they um, have done with their foods, how they cooked it, how they, um, not how they cooked it, but how they grew it, how they harvested it, and know if that's gonna fit in with that lifestyle. You'll also know kind of what's in season. So eating in season is gonna be less expensive because you're not having to transport it. Strawberries weren't meant to be eaten year round, even though we have them in our stores year round. So those are just some things that you can get locally that you can probably get and improve your diet and maybe even help your grocery bill a little. Um, but I, wanted, I want you to know that it, if you wanna eat more vegetarian, more plant-based, um, I know people are always consumed about, concerned about potassium and phosphorus, and I know that vegetables and fruits can tend to have a little bit more of that, but what I wanna encourage you is that if you wanna eat more plant-based, more vegetarian, these types of foods are gonna be better balanced with um, the diet that you want because meats tend to have um, more protein, more potassium, more phosphorus, and so even if you had a vegetable as part of your meal and you have some beans, which I know have higher amounts of um, potassium, you're still probably eating a smaller portion of that and you're gonna eat more leafy greens and vegetables. So your overall balance is gonna be improved by eating more plant-based. So let's talk about some ways to incorporate a vegetarian, more plant-based lifestyle. Find foods that you love. So it's gonna be easier to make the switch. So if you like, um, for example, beans, a certain type of beans, if you like kidney beans and um, I like white beans, navy beans. So if you wanted to eat more of those, um, you might try once a week having a, a way to incorporate those into a meal. You can make sure that you're eating things, you know, one day a week, meatless Monday is a big deal that a lot of people do that can help reduce the amount of protein that they're eating and improve their diet by having like one day a week where they just make a meal that doesn't contain meat. It might have cheese, it might have eggs, it might have um, milk products, but it doesn't contain that meat or that chicken or that beef. And um, it's a little bit healthier because you're not getting those meat products. Um, start slowly. You'll be surprised at how easy it can be to incorporate this, but you, if you start slowly, it's easier to do. So I always say to people that you really can incorporate these things, but you just have to do them a little bit at a time. So pick a Meatless Monday meal. Um, there's a website called Meatless Monday. Go there, pick something, and it doesn't have to be on Monday, but just incorporate that into your 
your diet for the week. Um, and don't be hard on yourself. So it's hard to change to a new lifestyle and it's hard to do things a little differently and give yourself a little grace. It's the new year. I know you might've made a new year's resolution to eat healthier, to do better. And so don't overwhelm yourself with doing all the things that you want to do. Just do um, a little bit at a time. So if this is the week that you wanna eat a little more, you wanna eat a little more plant-based, maybe you find a farmer's market in your area or maybe you find a, um, you go to the grocery store and you pick up a couple more vegetables that you wanna to try to cook in your meals. Um, if you watch your vegetables, you can pay attention to which seem to um, go bad faster. For example, squash, like zucchini and yellow squash, are gonna hold on a little longer than like your lettuce. So if you're thinking about that and you're like, I know I wanna cook this in the next couple days, you can maybe make a lettuce salad. And if you're thinking about making a salad, you can put some nuts and seeds on it, some beans, some chickpeas in there, and you make a great salad. I personally love Brianna's real French vinaigrette because it contains like very minimal ingredients, no sugar, and it's really healthy and it's good. It's, it's, I love vinaigrettes anyway, but it's a delicious meal. So I just want you to um, make these changes slowly, make these changes that are important to you, but pick a few and just go there with them and be uh, kind to yourself when you're thinking about how you want to do these changes. So I wanna encourage you today to pick a couple things and, and make a little bit of change to eat a little more plant-based. So look up some vegetable recipes, just pick a new vegetable at the store that you think your family would love to try and um, do that this week. So thank you very much for listening and please leave a comment and let us know any other questions that you have and I will talk to you soon.